it is desired to cool 0.6 kg per second of oil from uh, 125 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. So this is the same problem as the one we discussed earlier. Uh, using a shell and tube heat exchanger. So you look here, since the heat exchanger is uh, the type of shell and tubes, we cannot use the normal LMTD method. Okay, so we use the corrected LMTD method. The same thing if, for example, uh, the problem is in the cross flow heat exchanger. Uh, the difference is that um, for the LMTD method, we need to find out the, the correction factor, which is uh, uh, F is the correction factor. And that is um, unique for each type of heat exchanger. In the lecture, I've uh, provided you with three uh, three graph uh, that you can select depending on the type of uh, required heat exchanger. So let's move on to the cool side. Uh, the cool side is water. It enters the tubes at a flow rate of 0.5 kg per second and at a, uh, at a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. If the U value is 85 Watt per square meter Kelvin, uh, determine the required heat transfer area given CP oil is 2.1 and CP water is 4.18 kilojoule kilo per kilogram uh, Kelvin. So it's the same here. Uh, the method is uh, indeed the LMTD, uh, corrected LMTD method, and the general process is the same except that uh, we need to find out uh, uh, the F factors. So in LMTD method, uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, Q. Okay, I'll write a Q then equal to uh, KA. Okay, that's the overall uh, heat transfer area. Uh, U is, uh, sorry, A is the overall heat transfer area. U is overall heat transfer coefficient. And then uh, we then multiply with LMTD. That is the normal MTD. Uh, when uh, and this is only applicable for double pipe heat exchanger and when it is not double pipe heat exchanger we need to add one uh, factor which is the f okay okay uh, f is the correction factor and q here is equal to the normal one uh, we can uh, so the total heat exchange is the heat loss from the uh, hot fluid equal to here is q hot equal to m uh, hot cp hot delta t hot all we know it uh, from the question above um, then this one also equal to q uh, cold uh, which equal to m um, cold uh, cp cold and delta t cold okay and we can use this equation to actually find out what is the delta t cold if we know what is delta t cold we'll be able to find out the um, temperature of the uh, temperature of the cold fluid uh, exiting from the shell and tube heat exchanger. So we apply uh, this equation, then we find out that the delta T O here, which is delta T cold uh, in the above notation, equal to 36.17, and we can then calculate uh, the temperature of water out or uh, temperature of cold uh, out equal to 46.17. So uh, what we do next uh, is uh, we need to uh, find out the correction factor, which is F. And F can be obtained from the chart, okay? And this is the one for the uh, shell and tube heat exchanger, okay? And uh, if you read carefully, this is for one shell pass and even number of tube passes. So. If you have, uh, you can have a two uh, tube uh, passes of the tube, you can have four, you can have six, and so on and so forth. Okay, if you look into here, uh, of course, this is not uh, very clear which one in the shell side and which one in the, uh, in the tube side. But if not specified, you can uh, choose either one. But in this example, uh, I will use the, uh, what is it? I will use the shell side as the, oil and uh, as the shell side as the oil for the hot fluid and the tube side is water so ti here 
uh, okay, Ti here then equal to uh, temperature of oil that come in which is 2125 uh, degrees Celsius and the uh, oil goes out at temperature of uh, 65 degrees Celsius okay and then Ti here must be the uh, temperature in of water which is 10 degree celsius and t out is the temperature of the water out which we uh, just calculated before uh, equal to 46.17 uh, so based on this um, we can then calculate uh, the delta ti to estimate the lmtd so these two will be used to calculate delta ti and another two we use to calculate delta TO delta TO as you can see uh, delta TI uh, equal to 125 minus 46.17 which is uh, 78.83 and delta TO uh, equal to 65 minus 10 which is uh, 55 uh, degrees Celsius Okay, to be able to properly use the chart, we need to um, estimate two parameters, which is the z-value, and the equation is given in the chart. Uh, this is the z-value, and another one is the uh, p-value. Okay, we have identified what is ti, uh, t capital I, what is t lowercase um, uh, i, o, and so on from uh, uh, here. So we then uh, can calculate what is z. And what is P, if you gain all of uh, that number, uh, then you ca we, we get Z equal to 1.66 and P equal to uh, uh, 0.31. So we then uh, try to uh, find out uh, the uh, a point where the two value uh, cross. And uh, I have done here. So we see here. Uh, P is about 0 0.31, so this is my P value, and then we have Z uh, 0.66. Uh, so you see here, this is Z 0 0.15, and this is Z 2.0. So it must be somewhere in between and very close to 1.5. And I identified uh, the point uh, is more or less or exactly at this point, and then uh, you can find out the F value here. And F value here I identified as 0.92. So the next, uh, since what they ask is heat transfer uh, area, so we need to find out Q. And Q is equal to, in this case, we use the oil. So we find out it's a 70, uh, so it's a 75,600 watt. And next, uh, we uh, calculate the LMTD. LMTD, uh, we given the equation here, and we find out the value of 66.19. And finally, uh, using um, uh, this equation, okay, this equation, we can find out the area. So now you can compare uh, this uh, heat exchanger, a shell and tube, compared to the double pipe heat exchanger with the same configuration. So it is a counterflow uh, heat exchanger. You notice that actually uh, the what is it? The area required is uh, slightly higher. Why? Because it is less efficient. Okay, less efficient. Uh, uh, in the case of, uh, for example, it's a double pipe heat exchanger. If you put it in the chart, it must be here. So value of F equal to one is a double pipe heat exchanger. 